today I received an email from the medical science liaison at Genentech about the second reported instance of the brain infection PML in someone taking the drug Ocrevus. So there's one prior report of this infection. Now to give a little background here, the JC virus is everywhere. We could all be infected with it, but generally it causes no symptoms. Our immune system just shuts it down. But in very rare cases of people taking immune suppressing drugs, it can become activated and infect the brain and cause a terrible disease known as PML or progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. I have a lot of patients with MS who take immunosuppressants. I've seen none of them get PML. However, I saw one person with AIDS get PML earlier in my career. This infection is most strongly associated with the drug Tysabri. However, there are rare cases in Ocrevus, as we see with this particular email, and also with Gelenia and Tecfidera. Now, this is very, very rare. I don't want to be an alarmist, but information is good. Knowledge is power. So I'll read the email, and then we'll talk about the implications. So Roche Genetech received a report December 17, 2021 for a case of progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, i.e. PML, in a 57-year-old female with multiple sclerosis in Spain who was treated with Ocrevus. The report of this PML case is based on typical clinical, radiological, and CSF findings. Generally speaking, you would do a spinal tap to diagnose PML and look for the JC virus. Following the PML diagnosis, the patient continues to be monitored by the treating physician. We continue to be in contact with the treating physician to evaluate details of the case. While further diagnostic workup and clinical assessment of this case are ongoing, including assessment by our external PML group of experts, as of yet, no obvious confounding factors have been identified. In other words, she, they, she does not have any other medical conditions that may have contributed to this. So in the one prior instance, of someone getting PML, and I have a separate video on that, it was a 78-year-old male, so he was somewhat older, and he also ended up having low T cells for unknown reasons. So maybe it was the combination of naturally low T cells plus having low B cells or absent B cells from the drug that contributed to him getting PML. Uh, in this case, obviously, we don't know all the details. As of November 2021, uh, more than 225,000 people with MS have been treated with Ocrevus globally over 450,000 patient years. In other words, the risk is extremely low, less than 1 in 100,000. There are several instances of people who took Tysabri followed by Ocrevus who ended up getting PML, but of course Tysabri is much more associated with PML, so that was probably the real cause of the infection. The risk-benefit profile for Ocrevus remains unchanged. I generally agree. I mean, it's such a, a rare event. It's difficult to say I would make different recommendations just based on one or two cases. Of course, you could get in a car accident driving to your infusion. You're much, much more likely to get a bad urinary tract infection, pneumonia due to another cause, COVID, or anything else. This would be one of the least likely side effects you could get from Ocrevus. Patient safety is Roche Genentech's highest priority in accordance with our safety reporting processes and industry pharmacovigilance standards. This case has been reported to U.S. and global health authorities. Please reach out to me if you have any further questions. And I do have to give uh, Genentech credit for reporting this case immediately just so that we're aware of the data. And I do have to say, a long time ago when I was a fellow, I attended a meeting where representatives from uh, the makers of Tysabri, which is a different company, Biogen, they were very good about kind of showing us cases of PML and what the MRI scans looked like, just so multiple sclerosis specialists can be more aware of it. I think people have a negative view of drug companies, some of which is warranted, but generally speaking, they don't want people to get bad side effects from their drug, and they want people to be aware of the major side effects. So do you have to be worried about this side effect? For the most part, no. Uh, but of course, I do think that we should be aware of it, one, so that we can diagnose it. You know, sometimes when people have worsening symptoms, we assume it's due to progressive MS, but, you know, we should do an MRI if it doesn't seem like a clear relapse or it's a more rapid decline. 
Typically, symptoms of PML are kind of gradual in onset, like worsening weakness or numbness, but they occur somewhat more quickly than we would expect from progressive MS, and MRI scans often show distinctive features. Now, the prognosis of PML in people taking Tysabri, there's about a 25% mortality rate, and the treatment in people who are getting Tysabri is often to do plasmapheresis, a filtration procedure to take out the drug. Of course, with Ocrevus, that's not really going to work because the B cells are already depleted. So what we would often do is check the immunoglobin levels, and if they're very low, like if the immunoglobin G is low, we could consider giving a treatment of intravenous immunoglobin. So some other details I would want to know about this woman is what type of MS did she have? Did she have progressive MS or other medical conditions, or had she received other immunosuppressants? And did she have low T cells, since we saw that in the one prior case? The other thing that could be done is sometimes people will get like a reactive swelling around the PML. And if it's severe, sometimes steroids could be used. There's also some evidence, very preliminary, that the antidepressant medication mirtazapine could be helpful in treating PML, although there's no definitive evidence for that. Please talk to your own doctor, obviously, if you have PML. Anyways, I just wanted to report this email. Again, credit to Genentech for sending this to me, just so we're aware of it. And if you have any questions, please post in the comments below.